Hi everybody, this is Mr. Claus and we're going to talk a little bit about continental drift. So continental drift is the idea that the continents have moved over long periods of time. What you'll notice is that here in the Permian 225 million years ago, all the continents were kind of shoved together into one supercontinent that we call Pangaea. And over time, they have started moving apart, moving apart to looking kind of what the, like the globe you see today. Here's our present day. So this is Alfred Wegener who proposed the idea, which is a very radical time at the idea in the early 1900s. He had some pieces of evidence to it though. We're going to go through some of those pieces of evidence. The first piece of evidence that Wegener used was from fossils. What he noticed was that this animal here, Mesosaurus, which was kind of like a freshwater lizard, he could find fossils of that on both South America and on Africa. Now this wasn't the kind of animal that could have swam across the Atlantic Ocean, so how could there be fossils in both places? Well, maybe at one time the two continents were together and this was the range of Mesosaurus. You've read about this a little bit in one of your homeworks. After Mesosaurus died 250 million some years ago, then those continents with the fossils on them moved apart. So good evidence that the fossils have moved. The other thing that Wegener noticed was fossils like this plant here, which, were call, which is called Glossopterus. This was a plant that only grows in very warm weather environments, but he found fossils of it in Antarctica. That suggests that Antarctica was probably somewhere else at some time, but it had moved. Piece of evidence number one is fossil evidence. Next thing that Wegener notices, by the way, his name starts with a W, but it's pronounced Wegener because he's German, uh, is next thing he notices is great glacial scratch evidence. Two things about that. When glaciers move over an area, they drag rocks across the bedrock below, and what you see is these parallel scratches in the rock like this. What Wegener starts to notice is, A, he can find glacial scratches in places there would no longer be any glaciers, places that are very warm now, but they may have been somewhere colder back before those continents moved. The other thing he noticed is that the scratches on one continent to another line up. He can line up scratches on South America and Antarctica, for example, and they line up exactly, they're scratching exactly in the same direction as if those continents were together at one point. Other piece of evidence, the third one that Wegener talks about is mountain belt evidence. You remember from our sedimentary rock unit, the sedimentary rocks always get laid down in flat horizontal layers, like you see here. But there are times when you see them tilted or folded like you see here. Well, that means that those continents must have moved. Those rocks must have moved. The only way that can happen is that the entire continent is moving and shoving them into some different patterns also with mountain belts. Wegener notices that when you put all the continents together, there are matching mountain belts, such as the Appalachian Mountains here, and these mountains in Africa here, that if those continents were together, they would be more, they would be one mountain belt. Same thing with in Greenland here and up here in Finland. So mountain belt evidence, the fact that there is matching mountain belts on different continents is a good piece of evidence that those continents may have moved, may have been together at one point. Wegener goes through all this trouble, he has all this evidence. Even with all of this, people do not believe Wegener because he does not know how the continents move. They say, oh, you have all this evidence that they have moved, but how are you going to make a big giant continent slam its way through the earth and move? Uh, you can find out a little bit more about Alfred Wegener by going to this website. I highly suggest you go there, listen to the lyrics of the song, it's quite entertaining. Do not forget, Wegener has three big pieces of evidence that the continents have moved over time. He has fossil evidence, same fossils, different continents. He has glacial evidence that glacial scratches form in the same direction on two different continents. Well, they, those continents must have been together when those scratch formed. And he has mountain belt evidence that there's matching mountain belts in different places in the world because those continents were shoved together. That's all for now. Thanks a lot.